KETK News is your local election headquarters, and there is a lot to unpack tonight. We begin with a wrap up of the runoff race for state representative of District 2, which includes Hunt, Hopkins and Van Zant counties. The race came down to two candidates, Jill Dutton and Brent Money, and voters made their decision tonight. As you can see on your screen, with 100% of voting precincts reporting their results, it seems Jill Dutton has won this incredibly tight race with a little more than 50% of the votes. Now this special election is the result of the Texas House voting to expel state rep Brian Slayton from office back in May. They made their decision after investigation found he provided alcohol to a minor and then had an inappropriate relationship with a 19 year old intern. Right now, polling locations are closed. Voters have returned home with a new state representative for our state's capital. KETK's Nolan Hoffman is in Canton. He's been at the watch party for Jill Dutton all evening. He now joins us live with the latest. Nolan, I'm sure they have started to celebrate and you have a live interview for us. Yes, that's that's very true, Casey. They have started to celebrate here. I am here, of course, with Jill Dutton. Jill, it's definitely it's true that you guys uh, declared victory here tonight. Actually, what I'm declaring victory for the constituents of House District 2. We have gone eight months without a state representative, and tonight we elected one, and the victory is the constituents. And before this, you were on the phone with your parents, uh, calling them about tonight. What, what, what did they have to say to you? They said congratulations and they were very proud of me and they're proud of our team and proud of our supporters and our volunteers. Um, eight, eight, nine months ago, I was on the front porch of my house talking with them, praying with them over this decision. And um, they're them and my husband and my kids and grandchildren. Um, they've all just been there for me and supported me and carried me through this. And a lot of people thought you were underdog. Just, just talk a little, little bit about that and, and what propelled you to, uh, to win tonight unofficially, but you know, just talk a little bit about that. Well, I think we definitely had a lot of ground to make up. Um, I had um, name ID to overcome. Um, so, you know, I was, I was known in Van Sant County, but not in the other two counties. And with a lot of help and support um, from people in those counties that I got to know, I'm just very thankful of how they have just literally embraced me in both Hunt County and Hopkins County. I feel like I'm both of their hometown girls too. So I'm um, just really proud of the ground that we made up and we worked really, really hard. Um, we gave it everything we had and then we gave some more um, and we're going to do that again. Um, we still have another month to go. This is not the final. Um, this isn't just the final day. We've got March 5th to look forward to and so we're going to celebrate tonight and get to work tomorrow. And last question, March 5th, uh, the primary, what needs to happen for you to to win that as well? We just need to do the same thing that we've done um, and we're just going to keep pushing forward. We're going to mobilize and get all of our supporters and our volunteers together and we're going to hit doors. We're going to make phone calls and text messages and sorry about the mailers and the text messages, but more more to come. All right, Joel, thanks so much. I really appreciate this interview uh, and best of luck moving forward. Thanks so much. Casey, I'll send it back to you.